Already. Um, so, hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Simple and the Dragon podcast. We are back finally, uh, but we've got a very special guest on today. We've got Ash Freestyle. How are we doing, bud? I'm all good, buddy. Thank you guys for having me on. No problem at all. Um, yeah, we'll just get straight into it. Um, we'll just say um, if people don't know who you are, so like maybe say who you are and what, what you do. So I'm Ash Freestyle. I'm, I guess, guess I've been doing freestyle football for about 15 years now. So I've been doing it quite a while, mainly been doing kind of events and shows and all kinds of stuff. And the last, I guess, maybe two years, I've kind of been working on TikTok, especially through COVID, like a lot of people, I suppose. So kind of been pushing that out the last two years or so. And, and here we are today. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Because, yeah, I, I can remember seeing a video. Um, was it Ian Wright? Do you edit your video? <laughs> Don't talk to me about that one. That was, um, yeah, he was duetting a few people's videos. And I got a, got a notification that he reacted to one of mine. And I was oh, wicked, like, amazing. Didn't, didn't really expect it. I saved the video. And then 20 minutes later, it was, it was gone from his account. I was like, <laughs> what's going on? Just disappeared. Don't know why. I don't know if TikTok took it down. I don't know if he took it down. I have absolutely no idea. But the fact that he did it anyway, and I've got the video saved, I'm happy with that. So it's all good. Yeah, like the outside before, wasn't it? As a result. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have yeah. you had any, anybody else? Um, do you have any other famous footballers and or ex footballers and all that? Or? Um, I don't think so. Not that I can think of. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think that that one was like his um, little hashtag thing, wasn't it? Maybe when kind of roughly around when he started on TikTok, I think. Yeah. And yeah, I think that, that a lot of footballers tend to do it, don't they? They kind of have some hashtag saying show us your skills or send us something, or we'll answer your questions or react. And yeah, he was yeah he was reacting to quite a few videos, and I thought I'd jump on it. Yeah, no, decent. It's good. It's it's absolutely it's absolutely awesome, isn't it? When you see you see a ex professional footballer do it, your video. Oh my god, you must feel ecstatic. It is as good. It is good. You remember when we um remember that time we went to Wembley, Carl? Oh yeah. For, and we seen Ian right, didn't we? Up on the he was um presenting like up in the one of the um was in the studio booth right outside Wembley. Oh yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. He was hanging around up there. Shame we can couldn't get to meet him, but yeah, that was that was good. That was awesome. That was day as well wasn't it that one? it was it was a good day something different oh god yeah i mean um i've got to ask you this one ash what is the most difficult skill you've ha you've learned um as the most difficult one i probably the one that i still do to this day probably the one with the skipping rope so i do kind of Oh. juggling the ball i started it by doing headers and skipping but then i've seen a few people do it with their feet so i've kind of started practicing that one a little bit recently as well so i want to try and improve that one and hopefully get to doing around the world while skipping that would be pretty cool i've seen one guy in particular on instagram he's only got about 300 followers but he does he's skipping crossing the rope doing all kinds of tricks and stuff. i've never seen anything like it in my life and he's like doing proper freestyle moves while skipping and it's absolutely phenomenal so it would be cool one day to kind of get get that far, like mm. good with it. But I'll have to wait and see. I, I, rem I remember your skip one because you you absolutely made me look stupid with, on my challenge. <laughs> what was that? What what, what remember, challenge? Was that? I do remember me, you know. Yeah, I do. I think I done. What did I do? I think I done uh, ten, ten, and ten or something. And um, you, you just, I think you turned around and said something like, yeah, not bad, but it's better like this. And you've done it with a bleeding skipping <laughs> rope. <laughs> I was like, cheers for that there. Now she just made me look like a right idiot. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I have to mix it up a bit. Oh, my God. Here we go. My phone's falling off, look. Um, yeah, no, it's brilliant. I thought it was great. Like, yeah, so. But I thought, I thought I'd done really well. I was really proud of myself. I was like, yeah, I've done that, didn't I? Like that. And all of a sudden, a little <laughs> duet comes up. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that was brilliant. It was good. Oh, that is brilliant, that, honestly. Oh, God. How many times did that now say your phone's fallen off? Three times? Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably fall off a couple more. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if an earthquake strikes, you'll definitely know. Huh? If an earthquake strikes, you'll know. Well, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, Ash, I was going to say to you, um, 
obviously, you know, you've done freestyle for like 15 years. Did it start with competitions? Is that how, how we started off with it? Um, so when I started, I feel proper old when I speak about when I start this, <laughs> when I started freestyle. So like YouTube obviously wasn't even around back then. So I, I remember seeing like some older, than, like the Nike adverts. So like Edgar Davids, Ronaldinho, and some of them kind of inspired me. That was the first time I kind of seen the tricks and skills. I went out and started practicing a bit. And I actually, um, I started when I was about 15, 16, because what I actually did was I dropped out of sixth form in school to concentrate on freestyle. So obviously my family and stuff weren't too happy, but I was, I knew I was like, this is what I want to do. And um, so I kind of just went back home and started practicing four or five hours a day and kind of stuck with it, to be honest. And just, I, I had no idea where it was going to go, but yeah, just stuck with it. And that's all I've ever known, pretty much. Yeah. I, it, it's, a, it's a like sort of national competitions and things like that. Or... Yeah, there is competitions. I used to compete in a few kind of when I, when I was starting, getting into it and stuff. But not so much anymore. I mean, the level of freestylers, especially like you've got like 12, 13, 14 year olds now pulling off some of like the maddest moves. Like the back, back in the day, you'd never think were possible. So I wouldn't want to go up against them, to be honest. <laughs> I get a bit embarrassed because some of them are absolutely unreal. But um, I mean, the last, I think maybe the last two years, maybe two, three years, mm. me and you know, Steve Gray, freestyler. Yeah, Steve, yeah. yeah. And um, a friend of mine called Keelan, who's a BMX flatlander, he's like the European champion at BMX, absolutely phenomenal on a bike. Um, so we put together this thing called Ultimate Freestyle. So we've been kind of hosting freestyle football competitions ourselves now, which is which is really cool because we get the whole community together to compete and we got prize money and just a really good day. We host like BMX comps and dance ones as well under this Ultimate Freestyle, but... I, I love doing the football ones. It's so good seeing everyone, everyone together and competing in the judging panel. And yeah, when, when, when we get the next one booked in, we'll have to invite you guys down as well to, to, to come and check it out. Oh, definitely. We'd love that. Brilliant. It'll be good. Be good. You won't get me pop it, participating in it though, because I'll get mugged off. <laughs> <laughs> it's the entertainment, entertainment for the, uh, for the event, Cal. We'll get you up. You and Simon have a little freestyle battle. Oh yeah, yeah. Then I'll have to, I'll have to bring my Zimmer frame. Just you know, keep the balance. <laughs> <laughs> well, or that one I can borrow for you, Cal. It's in the loft, so that'd be alright, wouldn't it? Busted guy. I, oh, is it busted now? I think it's busted. <laughs> I think when I was getting the decorations down, it fell apart. Oh, did it? <laughs> no spiders all over it. Oh Christ! Unless you have spiders all over yourself. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind that. Like that. Um, um, Ash, you got. I looked up, you've got like 24, is that world records? It is, yeah. So since 2010 was when I broke my first one. And yeah, since then I've broken 24. One, I think a few of them might have been breaking the same one again. Yeah. But um, yeah, in total it's, tw it's 24. So I, to be honest, I never kind of imagined getting that many. I, I was happy with one at the start but when I did get the first one it kind of I kind of thought what else can I do what else can I try mm. and I just kind of been been going for it for last so well yeah since 2010 to be fair but that very first one was um I did it was at half time at Cardiff City Stadium Cardiff City versus Watford and I was on at half time to try and break this world record for juggling on the bottom of my feet and I went on, I think the first attempt, I think I failed it. I think I failed. I think the ball slipped off. So I was a bit nervous. Went back for the second attempt then straight away. Smashed it on the second one. But back in the day, when I did that, what you had to do is kind of gather the evidence for the world record yourself and get the videos and the photos and people to sign stuff. And I had this paperwork. I knew I broke the record, but I was so nervous to send it off to Guinness in case they said no for some reason. So I had it sat on my desk, ready to go for about three or four months. I didn't just, I just didn't send it off because I was just so scared of them saying, say, saying no and getting rejected. But I eventually sent it off and then it come back all good. You've got, got this world record. And I was like, wow, it's like, like the best thing, best thing ever back then. It was so good. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Oh, 24, like, that's mental, isn't it? That's <laughs> 
it's not bad. I'm still waiting on on one more as well. We did it kind of kind of through lockdown. When was it? It must have been about oh, it was ages ago. I'm still waiting on it. It was a big mass participation one. So like a big chain football video where people are passing the ball out of shot to the next person. And we collected we collected over five hundred videos from different people. So I've kind of put that all together. We've smashed the last record of it. And again, it's just waiting now for Guinness to get back to us to to approve it, but it's taking so long. And that one, when it if that one gets approved, everyone who's part of it will become like a record holder. So fingers crossed it all all goes through and you know, that'll be a really good one. You can sneak a little video of me in there, could you? Or if it, <laughs> I, I I would love to get you guys in it. I would absolutely love to. But um if, if for some reason they reject it then we can maybe slip in a few more videos and, and try and submit it again in the future. So we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, I've got to try and break. What's that? Most saves in in 30 seconds. Yeah. We get, get Ash to do it with you. Ash is sort of. Most saves in 30 seconds or a minute. Yeah. Is, is just... must, be, must be something like that, isn't it? I, I bet there is some goalkeeper records. I'll have to look some up, and if I find them, find any decent ones, I'll see if we can get get Cal to attempt them. That, that might make, make some good content for you, Cal. You know, yeah. people, you know, seeing if you can break some some records. I, I bet there's some professional like keepers who hold some as well. Yeah. So it'd be good to kind of see if you can break break or equal or get near to their records, and yeah, see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, you know, Manchester City goalkeeper Edison. Mm -hmm. He holds the record for the longest throw. God, I, I wouldn't even want to try that. I think he threw <laughs> it. I think he threw it literally half and half between the other opposition's uh, penalty area and the, uh, you know, the middle of the centre circle. Jesus, and that's a long throw. I don't think I could do that. I'd probably, if I did it, I'd probably pull my shoulder. <laughs> well, what, what, what we'll have to do is we'll have to find the video of him doing that. And then get you on a pitch with with the markings and see how close you can get. Yeah, but, Give yeah. it a try. Six a side pitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> find the penalty box to penalty box. You're like, what? Could try longest kick. What longest kick I've got? Longest throw. I mean, yeah. Thought of something for me. Nah, that's awesome. Actually, right. what's your was it Champions League you're thinking of? Yeah, now just for that, you know the videos with Sands that you pulled. Is that you? Yeah, yeah, I've, I've been I've been out yesterday filming all that. So, so I've got I've got a ton of videos now. <laughs> That's brilliant. I kept looking at it thinking, is that Ash or not? Do you know what I mean? And it is actually you doing that. Yeah, yeah, I went out. I kind of yeah. It's, it's a bit of a weird one because I did it last year as well. I dressed up as Santa, bought some footballs, just wrapped them up and just went out, surprised people doing a few tricks and skills. The kids were like, what's going on? Why is Santa doing football skills? And then I just kind of hand them the football and they're like, what? Thank you. I'm like, yeah, we did, did the same again yesterday. Um, I changed it up a little bit this year though. So rather than just freestyling and giving it away, I took the little net out. I think, I think that's the video I posted yesterday. So we... Yeah, we just 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 did some fun stuff, giving loads of footballs away. Just just nice to like, just nice to like see people smiling and stuff. Sometimes with like just so surprised. Some people kind of stand there in shock, like, "Why are you giving me a football?" But no, right, there you go. Merry Christmas. Sure. Oh, so it's, yeah, it's a bit of fun. Yeah, that's decent as well. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised you're a decent bloke. You know what I mean? Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Out. Yeah, so you've seen about the Champions League news, haven't you, Ash? I have seen a little bit of it, yeah. It's just, just been like redrawn and stuff, hasn't it? Yeah, what do you make of it? I mean, I would have liked to see Man United, PSG. I think everybody kind of wanted to see that. Mm. But it is what it is if they've made a mistake. They've had to correct it, I suppose, to keep everyone happy. I, I don't know. How can, weird. How, how can they? I mean, you know, the, the big organisation they are, and it's multi, <laughs> multi, multi, multi billionaire organisation. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. how, can't make mistakes like that. 
You can't. It's just. I don't, what, I don't even know what the mis what like, what did they do exactly? They put the names in wrong, or I don't I have no idea what happened. I've just seen like an admin error or something. That's what I've read so far. Wrong pots. Put, the wrong pot. Yeah, a couple of forms in the in the wrong pot apparently, and 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 get this, and the, when they got to the conference one, the conference uh, league, they they put um two Sparta Prague's in. So they, had, so they had to redo that one as well. Really? Yeah. What the hell's going on? Someone's just messing about, isn't they? Wow. <laughs> I think there's someone you're there trying to mess things up. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, who do you, you support? say that again. Um, to be honest, I don't really follow football that much. So I don't, yeah, I don't, really, don't, really, don't really have a team. Like, I'm from Cardiff. So I'd probably say I support Cardiff, but I spent about four years working for Swansea as a freestyle. So a little bit awkward there when I went back and told my dad, oh, I've got, got a job with Swansea. You know, he's a big Cardiff fan. But um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't really have a team. I was, I was actually thinking, I had this idea a few months ago, just after the season started. I was like, oh, what I should have done is like drawn a random premiership team out of a hat and then spent the year supporting them. So I might do that next season. I'll just pick a random team and just go to a few matches, buy some, buy some of their shirts, and support them for the year. Just uh, you know, make some, make some content around that and see how it goes. And then the next year, I'll choose a different team. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Actually, it makes that's it that idea that. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. I'll see if I remember it for next year, and, and yeah, see what happens. But yeah, I mean, overall, I just. I just don't really have too much time to keep up with football and stuff like so yeah i just just don't really follow it unless it's like the international games i i you know i love watching wales and seeing them do well but yeah club football just don't watch it too much to be fair yeah you're doing all the you're doing the <laughs> freestyle you don't really watch the football it's mad isn't it? i know i know it's weird I, I, I like watching the big games and stuff like if it was like the manu and psg one i'd be all over that like every everybody would have loved to have seen that, but yeah, just in general, just just not. I used to support a team. I used to go and watch Cardiff all the time. I've been been to watch Barnsley a few times up here, yeah. and obviously, I'd like them to do well because I'm based here. So if they do well, it kind of works out better for me as well. Because I might get a little bit more work from them doing well. They're not doing well at the minute, which which is not great. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I know that. It's, I, I keep an eye on the league. Yeah, you know that league well, don't you? Being a Cardiff fan. Yeah. I'm a Cardiff fan, yeah. So, yeah. In all the shirt I'm wearing at the minute, I'm just wearing it today because I'm in goal today. The Brentford one. Well done, Si. <laughs> so, what's your, um, what's your aim for the future? Actually, I mean, is it the freestyle? Is that all you do? Is that your, your career, your life and all the rest of it? Yeah, so, yeah, that's literally all I've ever done is freestyle, which kind of baffles me still to this day because I kind of just, yeah, started it and just kind of just went with the flow. Whatever happened, happened. And in a way, I'm still kind of doing that now. But obviously with lockdown, when the first lockdown happened, my whole calendar, pretty much like 95% of it, all the events were just wiped out. So that's when I kind of thought, well, you know, start, start doing stuff on tiktok now i've never really had time to kind of push social media so tiktok was doing well and everyone was having fun fun on it back then so i pushed that so that's in a place now where you know it can be monetized which is great so in a way I, I'm, I'm kind of in a better position than i was before the whole covid thing because i've got the event side back on the social media so again i think i think i'm just kind of going with the flow and see, seeing where everything takes us and obviously I'd love for, to do more with like the ultimate freestyle competitions and also content ballers. So you know, there's you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of potential there with um with content ballers. So again, we'll see what the future holds. Yeah, definitely. You, you looking forward to the um the rematch coming up? Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> again, like I I don't really actually play football that much. I mean, you've probably seen my ability in the last content ballers game with my own goal but um 
Yeah, well, um, well, we'll see what happens. Just don't. I just can't be stuck left back again. No, <laughs> it's not for me. It was a good get together, and I was quite surprised how. Um, how I, it, I thought it was sort of going to be a bit of a laugh, but it was all taken serious. I mean, you know, I don't yeah. know about you, yeah. our change room was like really like getting each other going. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. I think. Yeah, like yeah, everyone, everyone properly wanted a win. I was kind of hoping that I'd get a little bit of time on the board, do a couple of little tricks and then pass it on, but I was like, absolute no chance. <laughs> no time for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, and I think the next one that is gonna, just going to be even more competitive. Yeah. It's going to be going to be even more. Everyone's going to, you know, yeah, South team's going to want to keep the lead and North team's going to want to try and bring one back. Yeah, mm. definitely. It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? That's for sure. It, so, is. it is. Hopefully, Cal will get involved in this one. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah, you can be the be the referee, Cal. Can be <laughs> the official. <laughs> He'd send me off. Oh no, I don't blame that one. I'd like to stand on the touchline. You can send me off on the touchline. Oh okay. yeah, you can. That's it. Uh, oh, you got any more before he goes? He's got a few minutes. Hey. Got any more questions for Ash just before we go? Yeah, yeah, I've got one more, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, of course you were talking about, you know, your TikTok Ash as well. Of course, um, have you got like a target for it at the minute? Um, not necessarily. I just kind of at, at the minute I've kind of got a bit of a series about just like football facts and stuff. Like I've just been researching a lot a lot of them, putting together edits about kind of like a lot of weird and strange football facts when I can. And this year I've got, I've got like a bunch of like Christmas ones ready to put out Christmas themed facts. So I kind of, again, just go with the flow and just see where, see where TikTok takes me. I have no idea. I've had, you know, like same, same with you guys, like just things come out of nowhere, like through TikTok whether it's like brand things or I'm sure we're, are we all wearing shirts from the, like the football companies that you've been sent today. Yeah. Just even little bits like that. And yeah, I just, yeah, just, just seeing where it takes me, I guess. Mm. No, no real goal. It'd be nice to get, uh, you know, 500 K and then a mil and then, you know, slide past, slide past Cal up to 1.5 mil maybe, but <laughs> it's a long way to go. Long way to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's that's unbelievable. Yeah, stitched a yeah stitched a video which went mad. I don't know if you've seen it, Ash or not. Was it the the Ronaldo one? Yeah, it was a girl trying to do, you know, the Ronaldo. But I went, what on earth? And I did it back, and that's like that's nearly got four million views. That's got now. Still on that now, Jesus. Yeah, that is good. That is very good. Oh. Yeah, when you're talking about you know things on TikTok that you never knew would do well, it's like mm. with you, Ash. It's like the facts thing. With me, it's the Gardens League. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I did a facts video talking about why footballers spit, and it's on like two million views. Yeah, no. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> baffles me. It does. It absolutely it, baffles me. All of a sudden, you put a video up. I mean, I've done. I put a video up and thought, well, this is not going to do very well, but I'll put it up anyway. Then all of a sudden, mm. one of the best videos I've ever had. It's it's, it's mad. <laughs> Yeah, so like what, um, one of one of Keeley's videos, you guys headering the football in the bin, right? That one went a bit crazy. Yeah, that's on like I think seventeen point six million views now. Yeah, that's <laughs> mental, isn't it? Yeah, it's just why it's just like you don't know, but that's that's why it is, isn't it? Yeah, I think sometimes it is just like the proper simple things that the guy. Uh, another one, not even football related. It was just me staring at like this floating tap. You've seen those taps with like the water coming down, they got a pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Where the water is. So I was just kind of standing there looking at it for I think it's an eight second clip and the, the, the caption is me as a kid trying to figure out how this works. And that had four million. And then I posted like a I duetted it myself when it was switched off. And that had like, about four million as well. And it's just like it's just really weird, like, just, but if that's what people want to see, that's what they want to see. <laughs> oh, no, I know you've got... 
Say that again. No, it's three o'clock. Just, just worried about okay, you. Three. Um, yeah, I will have to shoot off to um, yeah, go and grab my son from school. Yeah, I thought, yeah. So, I mean, do you do you want to give yourself a plug and just just tell everybody how to follow you and all that? And... Yeah, you can find me on pretty much all social media at Ash Freestyle. Nice and nice and easy, straightforward. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, and there I am. Perfect. Unless it's not more than one of you. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, thank you, Ash, for coming on. Pleasure having you on, man. No problem at all. Thank you, guys. Have a good one, and, yeah, we'll catch up soon. Definitely. Brilliant. Nice seeing you.